fact. If you aren't making mistakes, you're not taking enough risks, and you won't be innovative and you won't learn. Today we're in one of the wealthiest cities in California, and today we're going to be on the lookout for millionaires, and we're going to get inside their minds, ask them, you know, a few questions, any daily habits they have, any advice they have for us. They want to get to that level, because I know we all want to get to that level. We want to be successful, so we're going to go find out. My name is Fred Studer. I am recently 54 and I'm a chief marketing officer in high technology. What advice do you have for someone that wants to do what you do? Three things. One, think creatively about your purpose and really what you most enjoy, not just from a financial perspective, but really what fills your heart and really fulfills you professionally and personally. Uh, second thing is um, be bold in everything that you do. Uh, always think of what's possible. Um, and then the third is have a optimistic and positive mindset. I think a lot of people will uh, sometimes take worst case thinking and you clearly have to have a backup plan, but the more optimistic thinking you can do and be positive about everything that you try, that's when um, challenges ultimately become opportunities. And if you can put all those things together, not only will you be successful in your profession, but you'll be successful in your life. My name is Ranfi Ancelovisi and I'm 43 and I do commercial real estate for a living. For someone that wants to do what you do, what, would you, what advice would you give them? Uh, I would say in college, definitely do internships, uh, you know, try to you know, exercise your networks and, and uh, get into uh, to some companies and just do some free work for the summer. And then uh, when you graduate, you'll be ahead of the game with your peers. Now, what's the best financial advice somebody has given you? Uh, buy low, sell high, you know, be, be aggressive, but with, with some conservative uh, framework around logic and what you do. And uh, the earlier you start to save money, more than you have outflows, the better. Like not necessarily just like in real estate or stocks or anything, but invest in yourself, invest in your, your assets, but make sure that investing and your long-term sustainability is always present in your mind. Uh, the best financial advice, uh, definitely put some money aside uh, and buy some stock and just let it sit there. Just keep putting it in there, don't do anything with it. And hopefully by the time I'm 65, yeah. I'll have uh, that money would have grown. Yeah. So uh, you know, if your company does uh, any type of 401k uh, contribution, exercise all of it. You know, that's that's money for you just showing up to work. So that's pretty that's pretty good. So if your company uh, provides that benefit, take full advantage of it. Yeah. Another piece of advice is surround yourself around people smarter than yourself. Have you had any failures along the way? I've had a ton of failures, uh, and I really see failures as all the options of how not to do things okay. again. So they're all learnings. Um, you know, just abstractly. Uh, you know, maybe making um, a mistake on what a, uh, a persona that I'm trying to either market or sell to and what they might want. And, you know, by not taking those risks, I wouldn't have known. But at the time, they seemed like big failures. Uh, but what I would say is everybody's going to make them. And in fact, if you aren't making mistakes, you're not taking enough risks and you won't be innovative and you won't learn. Because every mistake that you make is just another reason of not what to do again and it's a learning opportunity. I've definitely had my, my share of, of being entitled and spoiled and uh, that's I think maybe at my early age I, I, I thought that, that way and I was corrected pretty quickly uh, that nobody nothing's owed to you. You've got to work hard for what you, what you have and nobody owes you anything so keep at it. What's a daily habit that somebody should do every day? A few. A daily habit is uh, I have an attitude for gratitude. I wake up every morning knowing what's possible and what I can do. And I literally will look myself in the mirror and tell myself how awesome I am at what I'm going to do and think about how to share that every day. The second thing is I, I absolutely make commitments to myself, even small ones. Like today, I'm going to walk 3.5 miles and I get it done. Small things. I'm going to eat a healthy breakfast. And then the bigger things, like I'm going to work on a project and I'm going to help my team and motivate them to do better than they thought. Make small commitments to yourself and deliver on them. And then the third, try to share that love and enthusiasm with as many people as you can. And it's so simple. It's It can just take a smile, a look at somebody, a nod. But every single human on the planet has an opportunity to help another person. And you never know where somebody else's mindset is. But if you have that enthusiastic mindset, you have the energy. And really, it's our obligation as humans to bring every single person up that we can. What makes you happy? Uh, my family, my wonderful girlfriend, uh, my dear friends, um, the, the fact that I get to live in a beautiful city like this and just that, you know, we live in a country that, you know, provides us with freedoms and I think about it every day and I think about just the, uh, the power of what I get to do and really I look at all of my gifts as an obligation to go share them with the world and so, you know, having all of those things work 
and being healthy physically, which I obviously try to maintain both mentally and physically, it's just, it's a privilege. So yeah, those things all make me very happy. Uh, my wife right there. Yeah, she makes me happy. Yeah, she keeps me going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to work hard for her. All right, perfect. Yeah. Is that what motivates you to like keep working hard? Absolutely. I have plans for us for the future, so it gets me up in the morning for sure. Man, this is not easy, man. <laughs> like, like, you don't just run into millionaires like that, you know? Like, right now we're just like judging people by the cover, you know? Because, like, they could be dressed normal. Like, we're just looking for people that like get out of like nice cars or they're like outside their houses or something. So, so it's not easy. But we're gonna keep trying, we're gonna keep looking for people. Yes, wish us luck. My name's Ellen and I'm 52 and I previously worked in cancer research oh. and now I'm a gardener. What's the daily habit you think someone should have every day? You know, meditation. Even even small short meditation, just mindfulness and even guided meditations, even if you do it for five minutes a day, it can really help people's well-being, mental well-being. Any financial advice you would give? Well, for one, I would not be obsessed with buying a house or owning a home. And I say this as somebody who owns four homes. Okay. <laughs> um, that I think that's like a big American dream, and I think it's a little bit overrated, particularly here in the Bay Area. So, you know, do what you love and follow yeah. your dream and don't feel like you haven't made it if you can't buy a house. Yeah. So do you, you mentioned you own four homes. Do you, do you, is your net worth like over a million dollars? Yes. Yes. So you... yes. So we had a goal of talking to one more person, but it was getting late, so we stopped by a gas station and you guys won't believe what happened next. We met the Warriors player, Clay Thompson. Alright, well, for the people that don't know you, what's your name, what's your age, and what do you do? I am 32 years old, my name is Clay Thompson, and I play basketball for the Golden State Warriors in my 12th right. season. Season. Yeah. And how are you guys doing right now? Well, we're two games below 500, so we have room for improvement. But I like our chances, and we are the defending champions. So yeah, at the cool. end of the day, it's about defending that title, and I love our chances. We're gonna be great when we need to be. Yeah. And for people that wanna like become basketball players one day, that that's their dream. Yeah. What advice would you give to them? The advice I would give to aspiring athletes is to. Be nice to yourself. Don't be too hard on the days that are tough. Um, be patient and think of the big picture and don't skip steps. You know, it's about uh, the hard work and if you work hard every day and you maximize your potential, then you can live with the results. And for anyone who's want to be an athlete out there, it's just about that commitment to your craft and not really taking many days off. Yeah. And what keeps you motivated to keep working hard? Uh, my motivation is just our fans. They inspire me so much. See how much happiness we bring them when we win. My love for the game. I genuinely love basketball. I've loved it since I was a child. Um, it brings me so much joy and that keeps inspiring. That inspires me to keep going is just to enjoy this run we're on and enjoy being an NBA player because I know how hard it is to become one. What makes you happy? Ha! Huh. What makes me happy is uh, love for my family, from my friends. Uh, I love to be, I love the ocean, I have a boat, very lucky, so I love fishing, I love boating, I love diving, traveling, I love seeing the world, I love experiencing new cultures, and uh, hopefully have a family one day. So those things are what truly bring me joy. All right. Thank you so Thanks, much, buddy. man. I appreciate no it. Have a good so there you guys have it. Basically some key points that we got from today's video is that you gotta find your passion and you gotta go all in on that, right? You can't be afraid to fail. If you're not failing, you're not trying. So that's very important. I feel like most of us are afraid to fail and we just get stuck, right? We just get stuck and we don't do anything. We procrastinate and it's just, it's hard to get out of that. You gotta be, you gotta put yourself out there and not be afraid to fail. And another one is, Nothing's owed to you, so you gotta work for it, and yeah, you gotta do your best at, at what you do. So there you guys have it, drop down in the comments any advice that you got from this video, any nuggets, gold nuggets that you got from this video. Just drop them down below in the comments, and we'll see you in the next video.